Animations are just a super easy way to create focal points, illustrate complex procedures, and really just help guide the learners to visualize the change on your slide. And storyline designers, you already know that you have a ton of ways to bring your slides to life with animations. You've got your standard entrance animations, you've got your motion paths when you, when you want more precision, and then you also have the new emphasis animations when you just want things to, to pop a little bit more. But if you've ever thought, hmm, you know, I, I want this to, to be a bit faster, or maybe I want to make it spin a few times before looping, you know it takes some fine tuning. You can do it, it, it just means a lot, of, a lot of tiny tweaks. Preview, adjust, repeat, just go through the process again. It's not hard, but it may not always be the, the best use of your time either. And that's where the new JavaScript, AI JavaScript entrance animations come in. You just type out what you want, tell AI Assistant what type of animation you want, how it should move, how it should loop, where it should start, and then done. AI, AI Assistant takes care of it for you. So let me show you how this works. It's actually a, a fantastic way to begin working with animations. All right, so I'm in my Storyline project, and you'll notice there is a new panel here called AI Assistant. Now, this is still in beta, which means that we're still working on it, but essentially what this is gonna let you do is really access all of your AI Assistant features. We could type in something like, create an image for the slide and it's going to open up the image generator. We could tell it to create some sound effects for us and it'll open up the AI sound. But what we want to do is create some animations, some entrance animations here for our slide. So if I'm not really sure what's possible, what this could look like, I'm just going to choose give me some ideas. And this is going to give me big picture ideas for the whole slide. It won't just include animations. It can ask me if I want to generate sound effects. You can see right there a quiz. I can do some things like generate questions. But what I want is some animation ideas. So suggest an animation for this slide. And I could just type this out myself as well, but you'll see that getting some ideas helps you really get a better picture of what's possible now with this AI, with this AI assistant chat. So I'm gonna say, suggest animation for the slide, be sure to animate every, every object. So AI Assistant's gonna go through this and you can see what it's suggesting right here. You can see the different options here for the, the speed, the opacity, you could you know modify any one of these by saying no, change the scale from one to two over about one and a half seconds, make it two seconds and so on. I'm gonna accept all of that. I'm just gonna say yes and let's see what it what it looks like. So what's gonna happen is the JavaScript's gonna be written for us. We don't have to do any of that code, but we'll basically get the benefit of JavaScript typed animations without ever having to touch the code. And then now we can go ahead and just preview to see what this looks like. Okay, cool. So here's everything animated. If you want to see it again, you can just click preview again and you can see it almost creates a masking effect right here, a scaling effect for the background image and everything comes in and you can continue to modify this. Let's say uh, pulse the submit button. Pulse the submit button after the other animations complete, something like that, right? So we wanna bring that in just a little bit later and we'll have that animation, that pulsing animation complete the, the final slide entrance. So it's gonna update the JavaScript for us and then we'll be able to preview and see what this looks like. So here it is, and then there's the pull submit and I'm gonna say show the submit button after every Thing else completes. And you just go through it. You know, what's, what's nice is as you go through this and you'll start to do the iteration, you'll start to find ways that you can combine these types of prompts all in the initial prompt so you don't have to iterate as often. So there it is. Now my submit button is there and then boom, there it comes on in. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And we can do other things. And this is what the, the power of JavaScript is giving us. We can come in and for example, maybe do something a little different right here. I'm just going to copy in a prompt I have right here. And what we're gonna say is make all these elements oscillate slowly back and forth independently from the timeline and with ease. So we'll use parallax as an inspiration. So a little bit more advanced, probably not the best choice right here only because this is an interactive slide. We don't want our buttons to actually move, but I just wanted to show you some, some advanced ways that you can incorporate those JavaScript animations. If you're not as, as familiar with what's possible with JavaScript, we can, do, we can do so much more than what we can with the built-in animations, even the, the emphasis. So here we go. Let's see what it looks like. And you can see now things are slowly moving back and forth as the, as the animations complete. Now, what I want to do is make sure this is independent of the timeline. Continue looping when timeline ends. 
make independent from the timeline. So maybe we have to just tell it not to stop moving when the timeline ends. And let's see what it looks like this time. So there it goes, and then we see the timeline end. It should continue moving, and there it goes. So again, right, just have to maybe follow up with another prompt. If we wanted the buttons maybe to pulse every so often, and say randomize each, each, randomly pulse each oval every few seconds, and you just keep iterating and going from what you created. And again, once you have kind of a feel for this, you just combine and you know what to specify or describe each time. So now every few seconds, we should see those buttons pulse. There they go. It's all randomized and it still works as an interaction, right? So if I have this as an interaction and I close it, everything is still, is still moving. Now, the neat thing here is that you actually have access to the JavaScript. So you could pop that open, see what's happening right here. Oops, make any changes to it by copying the, the JavaScript, maybe pasting it in Notepad, taking a look at it, and you see things like, okay, the uh, duration needs to be a little larger, a little longer, maybe 5,000, the delay could be greater. And then you come back in and just type in, you know, change duration from 4,000 to, to 5,000 and make those changes right there. If, you, uh, if you're more comfortable with JavaScript, or you could just keep using the plain language to just tell it, make those changes, make it slower, make it faster, and do other things with it. Again, you probably don't want to animate your, your buttons this way, but just a, a couple ideas for ways that you can use now the new AI chat to generate your custom entrance animations for your objects in, in Storyline.